Kia ora, cool canons be talking what. I was born and raised around here between Takuri and Oatronga. All my family's here, all my family's from here. We are quite a well known family as well, I'd say so, through my grandparents and my dad. So it's a pretty important place to me. Because I grew up watching dad tattoo in the dining area from the age of maybe five. <laughs> So it was a pretty early start for me being exposed to all of that as well. And the way I started off doing art was actually just Dad giving me gold coins for priming his canvas. <laughs> and then moving on to priming his carvings and then eventually wanting to tattoo and do a bit more. So it's just grown from there really until I finally learnt how to explore and develop on my own. I actually failed art at college, <laughs> mainly because art at college was studying around other artists that weren't Māori artists and obviously as you can see I'm, I'm heavily influenced by Dad's work which is Māori. So everything I've learnt is homegrown talent I would say through Dad, through my Nan, watching people come into the shed, taking notice of what artwork they liked the most of dads and then trying to copy it but making it pink or purple. <laughs> but I slowly um, got onto Instagram, started finding other female artists and figuring out what I like as a female a bit more as opposed to dad's masculine styles that he has and I think I'm still actually developing and trying to find my very own style but to me my work is definitely contemporary Māori. I would hope that people my age can see a bit more of their style or, or themselves within my artwork as opposed to a lot more traditional work that you see around. So that one's name is Hine Nui Te Pō. The top and the bottom are symmetrical apart from the diamonds, the tāniko. One side represents us in this world and that bottom one is the afterlife and that middle piece is everything in between so it could be you and those diamonds around you could be your whānau, your extended friends and family and your support system. I wanted to express a little bit more about how important us females are in my eyes especially the fact that I was doing it with my nan which is quite cool to still have that piece now that I'm a mum. <laughs> Looking back at that one, I'm quite glad that I've still got it around with me. At the moment, I'm actually trying to really push to have my work at a good enough quality and to learn how I can transfer, especially my paintings, into artwork that is printable. I've got an iPad now where I'm trying to have a tattoo around and do some digital artwork where I can hopefully create t-shirts and print on to other items as well. One of my biggest goals is to set myself up in a place where I can live off my art and support me and my family so that I can be free with my time so I can watch my babies grow and, and take them to school every day and I don't have to ask my boss for a day off because I am my own boss. This place is real important to me because it's given me all of my opportunities, obviously because of Dad, but just the different people that come through the Red Shed, getting to listen to their experiences and adding that to mine as well. Not much other young artists my age get to experience that. I'd say it's a bit different compared to being through like university or art schools and stuff, it's a lot more raw and I get to do hands-on straight away and pick and choose when I get to do it. It's important to me because I get to be free here.